Check out this armorizer combiner. Pretty rad, right? Three nucleuses and two magnuses. Um, he's quite stable, actually. You know, I can like lift him up and do all of this, and yeah, he's not gonna come apart. Um, he's having a little trouble standing, but that's only because this base right over here is not flat. There's little pock marks and things like that, but uh, he's doing a good enough job right over here, so I appreciate that, bud. I'll give you a look on the back. Um, you can see that these are kind of the way he's like standing up. Originally, the way I had it was um, I had them connected via one of these tire bits, uh, but it just was a little bit too inflexible to kind of navigate some of the uneven surfaces. So I ended up just kind of doing this and I feel like it works out fine um, because you can kind of adjust the lever, so to speak, um, to get him to stand in different ways. Oh, I should have mentioned that in this video, I'm going to teach you how to make this guy. Uh, so I'm going to start taking him apart right now. And um, I know probably no one other than me has like five of these figures to mess with. But I do think it's kind of like fun to at least share some of the building techniques. So that in the event that you um, you are a builder and you are watching this, perhaps you can be inspired um, or like, yeah, by some of these like building techniques. Because uh, I am, you know, I look at your, your guys' stuff. Um, but of course, the three primary that I look at, pre pre Passan, uh, Robo Z, and also uh, Schrimmingshire uh, Semi G0X2. I mean, yeah, I love getting inspired by everyone. The creative consciousness is something that we give and take from, and that we kind of like grow, gr that we grow together as well. And then we reinvest and recontribute those things that we made so that others can follow. And so it's a beautiful thing being a part of this growth cycle. But anyway, you can see this cross section over here. And uh, this is the nucleus torso, and the way the top section is connected to the bottom is by this and this. So there's one, two, three, four points of connection here. And this one, um, no, these do connect, but these are from the same leg. Uh, yeah, these are the two legs of the lower guy, and then the top one, one leg is here, and uh, wait a minute. Am I, I'm having a brain fart right now. Oh yeah, I'm super dumb. I was like, wait a minute. Where's his second leg? His second leg is right here, because uh, both of them, <laughs> both of them have two legs, right? Uh, so, so this whole thing is what I worked out, and um, and also I changed the orientation of the leg. That's really nice, having it kind of flare out in the bottom and kind of taper at the top. That's really really cool. So I'm gonna just put him to the side over here, um, and we're gonna take a look at the arms. Uh, so in this particular design, like the way I have this angled, it's really more for looks because uh, this will prevent this might prevent him from doing some articulated motions. But again, it's just there to adorn the shoulders and make them look nice. You can see that he has these like very small uh, clubs, uh, these single handed melee clubs in his hand. I think that's pretty cool. You can swap it out with the pickaxe if you want. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much the arm and then the hip is being utilized as the elbow in this situation. And this one, unfortunately, only connects via a single point, uh, yet the connection is very tight. As you saw earlier, when I was kind of lifting him up and down, nothing was really happening. Uh, so I'm pretty stoked how this came out. So if I just remove this top piece over here, again, this is just a layer. This is just a layer. Uh, we're just decorating it at this point. This is also just a layer as well. There's no like real functional bit over here. And um, what this is, is it's just one of the Magnus arms. And this is very specifically bent like this to um, to kind of uh, hide the gap in that stomach. You see how this is really like narrow over here, right? So what you do is you push that in there and then you do that. And that looks all nice and beefcake and chunk, right? And in order to achieve that, um, yeah, you need two of the arms. You need one that's bent over here. I mean, you can kind of see it. I don't need to really explain it to you. And underneath the forearm is another arm connected by the shoulder. And all of that kind of chunks and bridges together to create this nice little shoulder connector. Um, this, is, I know it kind of looks funny, but this is the fist of the robot. Not perfect, but hey, at least he can hold stuff, right? And Robozy was telling me, yeah, I know, right? I was actually having a conversation with Robozy. Robozy was like, this top part doesn't seem like a five milli, uh, the bottom part. And also he mentioned that um, the knobs on the legs over here, he's like, those don't really appear to be five milli. And I think he's correct because the way they, they're like barely not five milli. And he was kind of perplexed, like, are they or are they not, right? And um, yeah, I don't know, man. They look like they are to me, but he's correct. When you when you try to fasten them into a five milli slot, it's um, I don't know, it's it's, it's not a tight fit. Anyway, 
So here's the Magnius torso, and normally, or excuse me, that Magnius arm. Normally, was when this is in car mode, this is all flipped like this, and then maybe I can just show you. So you can see this top part. Hey, you know what? Yo, this will look like Baron Von Joy. You know what I'm talking about? He's a GoBots dude. I may have to make this guy. Huh? <laughs> um, that's funny. That's kind of funny. That that is actually old man moment. All right. Let's start peeling this off so you can get a better look. Normally this would be like this, and this would all be like this, and this part would all be all like this, right? That That's pretty much Magnus more or less over here, and then you put all the extra bits on them and stuff like that, but anyway, what you do is you gotta compress this, and you gotta get this in here um, as best as possible, and um, Oh, hold on. I gotta, I gotta make sure not to mess up my right hand fingers. Did I mess them up? But I'm, yeah, I'm doing it right now. Oh, but do you want to see something crazy? I kept band-aids on for too long, and my skin became white. <laughs> I have to expose the air right now, and it, it's getting better now. When I woke up, it was like the color of a nucleus, and I was freaking out. Um, all right. So we have that seated like this, and you see that little tab right there? It's gonna be right under this bit, and that's where you have it. And then the waist, the, the one leg, becomes extended like this. This gets turned around because this is going to connect into the torso. And this leg right over here, that's going to be your pivot for the elbow. And everything else, then I said, yeah, we grab this bit and this is going to become the fist. And we just layer this one on. How do we layer it? This goes upward. This is like that. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, you can do whatever you want, but um, just have it like that. Prug in the piece. And then we get that. In there. Like that. We get this whole bit. And I believe it connects like so. Let me just double check. Yeah, it is. Um, and then this will get draped right over here. And this will be uh, draped up on the back. And there we have it, Viola. Viola, granola, granola. Um, here are the two arms, right? And so, we'll move that to the side. The legs, the regs. Um, and by the way, 100% of the parts are used, and so that's always nice. It doesn't mean you have to, but um, yeah, it's nice if you can pull that off. Like I said, these fasteners, oh wait a minute. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah this one does fasten it to here. It's this one over here that's the fake one, because these are just from the same robot. Oh, that's unfortunate. I already got a stress mark over here. You see that? That's too bad. Okay. Yeah, having those multiple points of connection is what really, really makes it stable. And you can kind of see the way he looks over here. Um, Right, so we see the nucleus arms back over here to create the heel stabilizers, and again, they're just a set of nucleus arms with some um, scales on them. You got a scale in the front becoming the toes, and this is just bent up. Normally, it would be like like that, right? But we are just bending that forward like so. I do wish it locked in place a little bit better because it has a tendency to kind of like fold up. But uh, yeah, I do wish it like locked in better. That would have been nice. Uh, okay. And then this waist normally would be like this, right? But we spun it. We've spun it 180 degrees or 90 degrees rather. One of the legs are bent over here and one of the legs are bent like that, right? Feet are still in place. Feet are still in place. And what's really going to be cool is that when we attach them together... Oh, and by the way, let me show you um, the thing that we we're talking about, the little nub. 
See, it doesn't... See what I mean? Needs to be a little thicker. Just a little, just a hair, just a smidgen. Um, but yeah, so this top part, this is just Nucleus, and he's here with his knees bent and with the feet folded up on the shin. And what's really cool is that the feet, there's perfect spacing. These will like line up right on top of each other like this, just like how you see over here, right? That's really cool. And then you fasten them together using one of these and then one of these. So you can see the back one is going to go over here, and then the front one is going to go right there. And they will connect. One will go right there. Jer and Sunny and Share Care Bears. And this one will go right here. Nice. And that's nice solid fit and then you can just add that one decorative decorative one and that will fit right over there cool and then we just layer the scales on and uh, I, I don't think I'm gonna fully assemble them again all right maybe I will because I just got to plug in the arms and then we're just plugging the arms like I just mentioned like several times uh, heel stabilizers uh, you know, some of you have asked, uh, do you operate with the script? Um, not, not, not a hard script, but I got a loose script about like, I have an outline of what I want to cover. Um, but I have been told actually by one of my YouTube mentors that I should actually script it like word for word for word and that I should do the script first and then I should have a video that complements it, almost make it like a presentation and a PowerPoint. And I was like, huh. This is, a, this is an interesting, um, it's an interesting take on it, and uh, perhaps I may try that, try that out in the future. Sorry, this one came undone. Make sure everything's fastened in there tightly, rightly. Then after that, you just kind of clean them up, help them with the center of balance, heel stabilizers, and uh, fuzzy wuzzy focus. But yeah, you do what you need to do, and that is the Lord of Rocks back there, uh, the Triple Nucleus and Double Magnus Combiner. Hope you have liked the video. video. <laughs> Hope you have liked the video and build, and perhaps if you're a builder, maybe you picked on something that you can incorporate into your own builds and designs. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you all soon. Okay, positive vibe, y'all. Bye bye.